Pat's two cents. When all is shaking around you, hold the rock. You need your rock, which is an offense to the world, but the rock is your defense mm. against all the world can throw at you. And right now, going through these tough times, you better lay on your rock. You better sit on your rock. You better stand on your rock. You better suck on that rock. You better hold that rock with all you got. Because that rock is going to make sure that no matter what goes on in this world, thou shalt not be moved. As long as you're clinging to that rock, you will not be moved. You may have emotional upheavals here and there, but you will not be moved. So cling to that rock. Lay on it. Sleep on it. Cry on it. Suck on it. Get everything that rock has to offer you. Your life source, water, your sustenance, honey, the anointing and power, the oil. You need everything that rock has to offer. Stability. Mm. While everything else is shaking around you, thou shalt not be moved. That's right. So whatever you do, you depend on that rock, baby. And who is the rock? Our God in heaven. Our Savior, Jesus Christ. That's our rock. I ain't talking about no crack pipe. I'm talking about the rock. The sure foundation. Now I want you to be encouraged. I want you to know God has got you. God will keep you. Listen, you remember the story of Jesus approaching the boat and the disciples were in the boat? and how it was a storm and the wind was whipping and the waves were splashing and tearing up and just acting a, a, a mess out there in that ocean. And they were like, whoa, Lord, he goes down in the ship and falls asleep because he knows who's who he sleep. he's sleeping on the rock. He is the rock, but he's sleeping. What do they do? Wake him up and panic. Save us lest we die. We perish. We perish. That's what some of y'all are saying right now, going through these tough times. We perish. Look like it's all over, y'all. We perish. Listen, what did, Pete, uh, uh, what did Jesus do? He got up on top of that boat and he pointed his hand out over the ocean and he spoke, peace, be still. And I say to you, going through all this stuff, peace. Be still. God's got you. My question is, are you sucking from the world? Or are you sucking from the rock for all your sustenance? Are you reading his word? Are you praying? Are you spending time with him for inner healing and deliverance? Are you taking the time to rebuke this out of you and rebuke that out of you and ask God to show you things about yourself while you have this free time? What are you doing with the time, y'all? What are you doing with it? There's so much that can happen during this downtime. Lockdown can be a move upward for you in the, in the spirit realm if you utilize your time correctly. Stay in God's face. Lay on that rock. Peel your ear to that rock. Stare at the rock. The rock will teach you things, baby, that this world can't even fathom. Get in that rock. Suck on it. Hold it. Squeeze it. Stand on it. Lay on it. Sleep on it. Sit on it. Hold it. Don't let go. And whatever you do, keep digging deeper and deeper and deeper because according to his word he is like a man which built a house and digged deep 
and lay the foundation on a rock. Are you going to dig deep? Come on now, we got the time. This is the perfect time to take advantage of what God has to offer you. When you seek him with all your strength, you will find him. Now, what are you doing with all your strength besides talking about what's going on? Are you taking all of your concerns to God, casting all your care on him because he cares for you? Or are you on the phone? Yakety yak, yakety yak, do, 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 do. Yakety yak, yakety yak, do, 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 do. Yakety yak, yakety yak, do, 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 do. Yakety yak, yakety yak, yakety yak. Don't come back. And you're on the phone. Did you hear about this? Did you hear about that? Oh, and they said this. President Trump said that. And blah, blah, blah. And blah, blah, blah. Ooh, what are we going to do? Oh, I'm scared. I'm nervous. Oh, I don't know what we're going to do. I don't know how this is going to end. Uh, get in the Bible. You know how it's going to end. Read the end of the book. Read Revelations. Read Matthew 24. Read. Don't get in there and read a bunch of novels. Read what God has to say. Fill your spirit up. You want to lean on the rock? Get that praise and worship music out. Party to it. Dance to it. Keep it in your house. Keep it filling the atmosphere. One of my friends works for a facility. She has an office. She said, boy, the atmosphere in the whole place is fear. But in her office... Praise and worship music the whole time she's on her shift. When people walk in her office, they got to hear about God, baby. Because she sets her atmosphere to work by. So she doesn't get caught up. You set your atmosphere to keep your faith built up. You want to stay in the most holy faith. You don't want to get caught up in what the media has to say. Yes, you want to know what's going on. Yes, you want to be aware because the Bible did not just say pray. The Bible said watch and pray. So you better be aware of what's going on. But don't panic from it. That's not the point of being aware. You ever see the movie the uh, with Denzel Washington? Oh, I love the way the camera zooms in on his face. And he stands there and he takes a whole inventory of the room. That man has a knife. That man has a gun. That man has a bottle in front of him and a liquor glass. That man has skulls on his, on his desk. And he's doing this whole inventory. It is the craziest thing. The equalizer. Thank you, Rashad. And he's doing this inventory because he's getting ready to pass judgment on these guys for being so abusive and so so lethal and, and treacherous to these poor women that they victimize. Now, he wasn't looking around at everything. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, what am I going to do? Oh, no. He looks at his clock. He's very strategic. He sets the time button and countdown time. And he very deliberately approaches the room as he cleans it out one by one. And when he walks out of the room, everybody's laying there dead. Now, are you going to assess everything that's going on so that you can hit the panic button and freak out and pull your hair out at the root. I don't know what God's going to do. Is God going to come through for me? Oh, no, no. Or are you going to stand on them? You're going to stand on them. Get a grip. Grab the horns by the altar. You uh, Grab the altar by the horns, however it said. You're going to grab a hold of this thing and handle it in the authority and the power God gave you with confidence and faith in him to keep you in all your ways. What are you standing on? 
You're standing on earth, dirt, sand, shifting, or quicksand and sinking. What are you standing on? Especially in these tough times, you better get your foundation. You better get that thing built up deep and strong. It's not the time to play. Okay. Well, I hope that it encourages and admonishes you. Because we've got to decide who we're going to depend on. When they tell you we have started a mandatory vaccination and everyone must take it or else if you don't take the vaccine you don't get your benefits if you don't take the uh the mark <laughs> i'm playing them interchangeably you don't take the mark you don't get your food stamps you don't take the mark you're not going to be able to go out and eat you're not going to be able to buy you're not going to be able to sell Hello, you won't be able to come and go. No, because we started with the lockdown. We're moving into the vaccine, which will move into the mark. And my question to you is what will you turn to when all the world's resources are gone and out of your reach? Are you going to look up? and reach for your rock are you going to stand both feet planted strong on the rock even when you're feeling hunger pains are you going to trust that god will supernaturally supply your needs according to his riches in glory not according to trump not according to america not according to china not according to your food stamps not according to your benefits not according to social security not according to your paycheck if you get that at all not according to unemployment or disability no according to his riches and glory he is our rock our tower high and to the weak he giveth strength be strong in the lord and in the power of his might God bless you in these last days.